Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Now, this video is for all of you guys that message me and ask me, what do I use to plan all of my side hustle, small business stuff? Well, this is what I use, all right? So this one right here is the 2023 planner version. I can't wait to open it to look inside to see the differences between the 2022. Um, this stands for my personal assistant and this is by Alex Stern. So this is the 2020 version. So we do have a little bit of different changes. And as you can see, guys, I have been using this thing. So yeah, it really does um, like plan out like my business stuff. So we're gonna go ahead and open this up. Super excited. Oh, this cover is pretty. Okay, so from the get-go, we can already see that the corners are rounded this one is like square these are rounded now the cover is a vegan leather cover and then you have the gold foil for the logo and then the 2023 planner let's check the back here oh it's on the back too my pa planner and then here yeah i like the um gold better yeah i do like that but much better all right so this planner here i would say if you have a side hustle business or starting a side hustle business this would be a good one but if you only have like where you do like your daily plans like go grocery shopping and maybe you might watch tv or you need to clean this might be a little bit too much for you so this works perfectly if you have like extra activities that you have to do or if you have a small business or if you're starting so this right here a lot of my friends they do say that it's a little bit more than what they need well, they don't have like a side hustle business or things that they're doing, like a lot of activities. But and then I have other friends that have businesses and then they have other things that they have going on. They say this works actually pretty good. All right, so we have the elastic closure. And then we have these two, these little tassels. I'm gonna go, so we have these two tassels. I usually sometimes I be like tying these and braiding them. I know I be just doing the most with them. All right, so we have our inside cover, and this is the same as the other. And we have our page. So then we have this planner belongs to, and then if found, please return email, telephone, reward for returning. And y'all, I got my nails done. Finally, right? <laughs> Finally. All right, so back to my PA, y'all. So then you have your welcome page here and then i do like that this has inspirational quotes in here now i'm not gonna lie a couple days i was feeling like y'all i ain't gonna even do this this week but then they have one on each page um, i know that in 2022 planner um and i would read those and they were kind of be you know inspirational so this says to accomplish great things we must not only act but also dream not only plan but also believe Next, we have what your PA planner will do for you. Achieve your goals. It would, that's what it will help you do. Manage your time. Yeah. Be more productive. Yeah. Be more organized. Yeah. Stay focused. Yes. Keep it all in one place. Yes. Overcome overwhelm. Yes. Be inspired. Yes. Remember your ideas. Yes. Work smarter. Yes. Stay positive. Balance work and life. So it helps you do all of that good stuff. All right, so how to get the most out of my PA planner. So this basically just tells you exactly what you need to do to get the most out of it. Review and release 2022, your life and business plan, monthly planning goal setting, weekly planning goal setting, daily planning goal setting, reflect, review, improve. So you have step one, step two, and you have step three. So step one, you need to say goodbye to 2022. When 2022 is out and 2023 is in. So next we have just a, basically a sheet that shows you exactly how to use each page. Um, when I first started using the planner, I did have to come back to this page a couple times just to kind of make sure that I'm getting the most out of my pages. And this seriously helped. Um, then you have your 2022 in review. It's always good to reflect back on your last year to make sure that if it's some things that you didn't do, see what didn't you achieve? you can do it in 2023 all right so you got did you achieve your goals and financial targets list your biggest achievements so these are just basically questions that you want to review and ask yourself so that 2023 you can basically move forward and do more than that all right so 2023 targets list 50 things you want to achieve in the next 10 years and a lot of the things that i wrote down in my other um 2022 planner 
um there were some things that um i could check off because i actually did them before the 10 years but this is just kind of like um for like goals that you have and it's always good to write them down now you have your life how are you planning to live your life this year what do you love to do which task do you dislike that's a good one because you can put down the tedious stuff that you do not want to do what days will you work this is good too because i came back to this to see what days did i say i was going to work and what days i said i wasn't what hours will you work so these are all different things that you can kind of plan for your year and yeah what hobbies will you pursue how will you relax Ooh, how will i relax so let you guys kind of look at this a little bit so you can see the questions they have oh look what holidays would you take all of them all of them all right so this is your bucket list and i did have a lot of things on my 2022 bucket list that i did get to do and i was able to come back here check it off so it says if you're planning only to make money and nothing else you be broke all right so you list anything you want to do this year big or small and tick them off as you go and like i said big and small doesn't matter and that's what i did and whoo, that made me feel good y'all so we have 2023 business plan so this is what this section is and then you got what is your why this is a good one to always have what is your why so you have two and then so that so my why is to so that i can so you have a lot of different spaces for this um and i did fill this out for my last book now your vision what is your vision for your business this year this is awesome and i had like more followers i had i want to do you know expand my little business to offer more products and offer different things to help people with budgeting and to also help myself and to inspire more people so that was um you know a couple things that i had and so this year and then your vision in five years then you want to do mind map your vision for this year and then mind map it for five years all right so next ooh, i'm skipping ahead okay so what is your big mission this year in your business so a mission statement is a short sentence or paragraph used by business to explain in a simple and concise terms so you would put that and then what are your big goals for 2023 so you want to write your big goals and then bring your brand and business to life so you want to describe the products that you want to sell or you want to you know what i'm saying put out there to help people so this is like like i said this is a good thing to do even if you want to like rebrand or redo what you're doing because what you're doing is not working so you have all of these questions um that will help you bring all of that your thoughts and everything to you know what i'm saying bring it to life so you got what factors help your customers choose what business to buy from why do you originally start your business or why are you starting it so that is pretty much like just like it says a business plan so then you also have what costs are involved in your in producing your products describe your pricing structure and like i said these are important things i wish you know what i'm saying like a long long time ago when i was trying to do side hustle i wish i had this so i could kind of sit there brainstorm and figure it out um and then you have more questions like how do you want to be portrayed on social media what sort of things do you want your customers to be saying about your business so you can pretty much just go through all of these and then kind of figure out what your business plan is going to be so next you have your competition so who are the key players in your business and who are your main competitors so you can use it as positive so that way you can see what's out there what you need to do with strategies so your competitors name strength weaknesses and then you have swat swoot is that swat no swoot analysis so internal origin strengths weaknesses external origin opportunities threats all right and then you have more on the back how do you overcome any weaknesses and threats and so these are more questions for your business plan next you have your marketing plan so the best marketing doesn't feel like marketing so this is basically to for you to look the questions to find your target audience so you can define them like how do they have fun what do they do in their spare time what subjects are they interested in when i first got this book i was like why am i filling out all of this stuff but once I started like actually writing it down and started going back to it and using it as a reference, I was like, whoa, this is why <laughs> all these questions are in the front. That's what I'm saying. If you only have like a little bit of stuff going on every day in your life, this book might be a little bit more. But if you have like a business thing that you're trying to start up and you're super serious, this would be awesome. OK, so how will you sell your products and services? eBay, Etsy, Amazon, 
and etc and then how will you communicate with your customers we use social media email webinars video marketing podcast blog so if you saying that i'm going to do a blog well you need to go ahead and start up a blog and start kind of like brainstorming on how you're going to do that and these what these other questions are for too do you have a method to collect emails pop up or other right and you got who will build you or a web designer you can always use shopify shopify is a very common one that a lot of people use and a lot of people are pretty successful on shopify so how will you sell your products and services will you do email marketing how are you going to build your email list email marketing is a really really good one i um, mean you have all the questions like how we use email to build the valuable relationship with your prospects then you have webinars if you're into doing webinars then you got advertising like social media adwords like facebook instagram twitter youtube print magazine newspapers next you have social media marketing plans so this lets you plan out which like platform you're going to use for social media yeah this is super what social media platforms would you like to focus on yeah they say like try to focus on one once you master that then go ahead and go to another one but they say sometimes some people just stick with one and they are very successful with that so it's all about your audience and you have competitors name social network what's working and then you got how many people would you like to reach this year then you have your social media platform and then current number of followers increase for the year increase for the month increase for the day and then your strategy here so next you have your content blogging i heard people be doing really well with blogging i don't have a blog but i might have to figure out how often do you need to blog i might have to figure out something with blogging all right so next you have video marketing how do you plan to create videos and how will you create your videos yourself or a production company then you have podcasting and i know podcasting does pretty well these days then you have your pr plan where you can you know have people um, show your stuff that you have show how they use it and then that can be super cool are there any youtubers who you would like to be interviewed by hmm. that's cool all right so we have contests so if you're going to do sweepstake contests and giveaways so this could be like if you hit 10,000 subscribers i'm going to give away 200 dollars worth of products if I hit 15 subscribers, 15,000 subscribers, not 15, 15,000 subscribers, I'm going to do a $500 giveaway if I hit 20,000. So that way, when it comes to that time, you already have it pretty much planned out and you know what you're going to do. So we have 2023 Project Planner, Brainstorm, and you got Priority Number, and then you got your projects here. Oh, that is, yeah, I did use that a lot last year too. I keep saying last year, it's still 2022. Um, so we got 2023 connections. So name, why, name and why. So this is basically who do you want to connect with in 2023 and why. So those could be like with your collaborations that you have with other YouTubers or Instagrammers or TikTokers, whichever you want to do. So next we have monthly, weekly, daily tasks. So this right here, what I did, I just basically wrote down the tasks that I know I have to do monthly. I know I have to do weekly. I know I have to do daily. So when I'm trying to write in my book, if I'm like, brain fog i just come back here and be like oh yeah so i supposed to be you, you know what i'm saying write my action plan and prioritize i gotta do a blog post i gotta create a newsletter or a social media post that is a non-negotiable this is what i need to do so now we have the numbers your finance plan and this right here you have your personal 2023 survival budget so this is your personal and then here you have your 2023 profit and loss forecast so you have sales, direct calls, gross profit, expenses, and then you have spaces that you can write and you have it from January to December. So next we have our 2023 balance sheet forecast here. So on start date, on end date, and you have your yearly calendar for 2023. Now we are getting into the weeklies. So the weeklies, you have your month, and they are dated you have your notes on the side you have write your habits here so you got one through 31 so for the whole month so these are positive habit and then you have the inspirational quotes on here and then next you have january goals in action well not january but we're doing it for the month so this will be your main focus this month and then these are your goals then you got your project planner so write a title for the project and list everything you need to do under that title so this will be like your projects and then you also can do where you need to delegate it or, or are you going to be the one doing it you're going to outsource it or is it going to be automate automate 
Then you have your social media contact planner um, here. So this is your content title and subject. You got blog, video reel, image post, webinar, live video. I need to, yeah, this live video. Text post, podcast, infographics, poll, curated content, call to action, and SM platform names. That's what I said. And you got a lot of space for the month. Oh, and it says when planning, remember the 80, 20 rule, 80% audience interest, 20% promotional people will use social media to be social, not to be sold. And then you have your weeklies. You have to watch, read notes, ideas. This is like when I want to read like my books on my Kindle Paperwhite notes, just jot down different things to buy expenses. I would put things there and I did put a line in the middle so I can have two slots there. Regular action. And like I said, you have your inspirational quotes on the top and then your goals, project action calls. You can check the boxes once you're done. And then you have three major important goals up top. And then you got your time from 7 to 8 p.m. And I would do like 6 a.m. or 5 a.m. or do like 9. Then you have like your number of minutes of meditation, exercise, and glasses of water. Saturday and Sunday are a little bit smaller. I don't do too much on Saturday and Sunday. So this is fine for me. And then you do have like a soft little gray line there. So you can write here and here. And then at the end, you have your weekly review. How many sales did you make? Which is awesome. You can do how much you thought you were gonna get and how, what is your actual, and you can actually just write the amount underneath. How many new email subscribers? So if you really wanna get into emailing, this is pretty good right here. And then how is your social media growth? This is what I really, really like. And then you have your achievements, big and small, what worked, what didn't, what goals didn't you achieve? What do you need to do to achieve these goals? gratitude journal i really did like that too so my ideas like my savings challenges and stuff that i had i would just doodle it right here and kind of brainstorm mind map here and then once i figure it out i'll bring it to life and then you guys get to see it so and these are ideas that you write there and then the rest of the weeks are just like that also so we're going to go in the back i think the back the last one is a little bit different so yeah we are rolling right through this little book okay so then you have review 2023 and these are all, how did your business perform? So this is just like um, the 2023 and a recap. And then you have project planner. And then you have 2024 yearly calendar. I like that that has for 2024. You have your contact pages and this is enough contact pages. You have your gridded sheets. I do like when they do have some blank sheets in the back. You have your line sheets. And that's it. All right, so this is all for my PA planner, guys. You can find these on Amazon or you can go on the website. I do have a link in the description box to this planner if you guys wanna check it out and see how it is, because you know I always share where I get my stuff from so you guys can check it out. So thank you guys so much for chilling with me. If you did like this video, guys, please give it a thumbs up, like, comment, share, tell me if you are trying to start a side hustle, what you think about it, or if you already have a side hustle, which what you think about it. Um, and then don't forget to share this video and then don't forget to hit the subscribe button. If you already haven't checked out my Instagram and my TikTok is called A Pink Cloth Life. And then like I always say, until next time, guys, peace.